Uh, yeah, Cinder Harris Attraction Error Update. The Traction Error in-house, we call that the M boards. M stands for the motor boards, because that's what actually drives the motor. On the XP platform behind me, we have two of them per axle. So one on the front axle and on the rear axle as well. It's a total of four boards. So we have a lot of engineering challenges going for this. So we started off doing this behemoth of a board. It's a massive board and this drove two motors per board. We split that into one per board for easier packaging and uh, mechanical mount on the board. And we ended up with this thing. And it's not still up to our standards in terms of performance and size. So we're trying to push the boundaries as much as we can, doing bleeding edge technology to have a competitive advantage over the market. And right now we're working on this design. It's a really cool design. So me and the team is working on making this super small, super slick. We have the mega module we talked about previously. It's mounted on there. Uh, which is doing all the computing, super high-end stuff, multi-core processor. It's doing the Automotive 5, which is very bleeding edge in the um, industry. We have our power supplies. So it's running six isolated power supplies and the gate drivers per channel. So this one has all three H bridges built into it. So it is, is a really sick design. Um, in order to meet the automotive standards, is a press fit, so it doesn't have issues with the vibration and the thermal stress we're gonna see. It's gonna be liquid cooled. We have heat fins on the backside for the air and water cooling to pass through, and then a big seal across it so it doesn't contaminate the rest of the design. Um, I'm super excited. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna get the new boards in and we're gonna finally install them in the vehicle. So definitely stay tuned for that.